All right, welcome, welcome. Yeah. I've wandered about in the city for, for too long, and I have slain too many evilest members like it's my duty to do so. How many more enemies do I have to encounter? In fact, what am I doing right now? Do you come back? Are you alright? Can't you see? Why couldn't you help us all? You're, you're on an adventure. You should do your job more properly. What is wrong with you guys? I have received too many complaints and seen too many tears. No matter how hard we try, we can't. We get the blame. We can't escape from angry cries. I feel despair in all the voices I hear, and I see tears in all the eyes I see. Here's a potion. Use this to heal him. People would shout at us, but not appreciate us. At first, I wasn't expecting anything in return. But there was a part of me that unconsciously expected for something, and when I'm toned down, it makes me feel hopeless. Or is it more like until the last bit of your se sense of justice with those? Free services without the main of it. Would tone is a tough thing to me. I, it's something oddly unhealthy, and it worries me. Not only do you not expect gold, fame, or even a little blah blah blah. We've already read that. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, what that God said at the at that time is like a poison spreading in my heart. It keeps cleaning and giving me great pain. Now it's come to an extent where I can't pretend I'm not seeing it. Andromeda, I found you. I need your help. I need to find out where evil, uh, God, Erebus, and our enemies are. They are, have people outside the city wall, but I'm sure the high ups are hiding probably in the basement. Maybe they are using the waterway. I'm afraid I'm not the one who can help you with that, Andromeda. Uh, at the moment, I just can't. I'd probably cause you trouble and slow you down. I won't be able to help you, and I'd probably watch you die like I did with Audi. Tell everything. Just stop. Don't beat around yourself up. Raise your head up. I can't let it happen to you, Leon. Not you, Golds. Ask your family is the light of hope. If the ones that fate in the name of justice were to yield to evil, a warrior will be left hopeless. Silence, you are annoying me. You know nothing. There you are, Gale. And you too, Puse. 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 Uh, bring me the head of the High Elf Avenger who web rebels against us. Attack. Just leave me alone, Ajamna. There's nothing else I can do but fate to fate. I can only think about slaying as many bodies as I can. I shall kill them all. That's it. Are these all we have got? Fortunately, yes, I'll have the smiths working on forging weapons while we have to survive with this. But this is the amount of armor and items we won't be able to survive through consecutive battles. Don't let greed consume you, Nazi. 
uh, how, how the poverty is principle of justice. Remember the time our family was still small and poor. We lost money through dungeon attacks and we had to feed Lady Astria with a disgusting bowl of wild grass soup. That was the worst time. Drop it. Stop reminding me of things that we all want to forget about. You are right. Things are way better now than it was back then. If it's necessary, we can live off eating hobs growing on the ground. Damn it. Fine, then. We'll do that. Are you happy now? Absolutely. Let's overcome this with strong will and wisdom. Two-faced. <laughs> The guild has reported there are at least 30,000 casualties. It seems the healers who have been working without sleep are exhausted. Too, the situation is getting pretty bad. Bravo's command was to stop guarding outside the city and to gather everyone into the central area. However, some clans refuse to listen. The city is losing its color and m more people lose hope. We can't let this continue on. We must prove that there's hope. Including this one who's always annoying as hell. Are you okay? Would you like a bowl of soup? You seem awfully exhausted. Is something wrong? Are you really a human? That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Do I look like a monster or what? Forgive me, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why, but I just had the idea that you are not a human. I'm Elise and you are. So I'm see you. I'm saying that you have a lot going on, Elise. If you need anyone to talk to, I'm all ears. So now you know that it's not easy being a captain. There's stuff to deal with like this and that. I'm starting to regret the fact that I said I'm all ears. But there must be a reason fate wanted us to, to get to know each other. Not many get to see me complain. You should be happy about it. To summarize, you're struggling right now. You're struggling to come up with an answer to what justice is, which your ally wants to know, am I right? But I'm not only trying to figure it out because Leon wants an answer. The people, the city, the world, and even the enemy is questioning what justice is. This isn't just me thinking too much. Our answers to what justice is decides whether the spare persists or they could be torn into hope. That's what I think, Elise. I know nothing about justice and I don't think I can provide you with an answer to your question. But I think the problem now is just that justice is not being visible right now. It's hard to find stars when the city is shrouded by dark clouds. Evil is making it hard for you to find the light of justice. The star that we all long to see is still shining somewhere high above. We are not being able to see them, but they are not exactly gone. You're absolutely right, Lady Astria would probably say the same if she was here. I must let Leon hear about this. You really like this Leon girl, I can tell. She's my precious ally. She is so much more determined than I am. Noble and glorious. No matter what happens, I would not let Leon lose hope. No. Hello, Leon. One person, whatever, it's fine. It's you, Demon Lord Erebus. Lost little behavior. Be lost little believer of justice. I'm looking for Leon. Mind telling me where she is? If you happen to know.
I have no idea if anyone wants to know where she is. That would be me. Even if I know where she is, there's no way I'm going to tell you you're a liar, Lord Ellen. I don't mean to lie, you know. I was just pretending to be like homies, which was exhausting in a way. For the first time, I found myself respecting my friend. I can't go on pretending to be a clown or did you like Lord Ellen better than me. Come on, girls. Those murderous looks on your faces are scaring me. Do you think your goddess will be happy with this? So, Mr. God, why are you so concerned about Leon? You seem really interested in her before the start of the war, as I remember. Are you so-called stalker? Oh, dear God, you got such a good taste in the things you like doing in the schools. Stop acting like a frisky cat human. You may think it's schools, but all guys are beasts. And you, Palum, let me answer your question about why I'm so concerned about Leon. She's like the purest of all, don't you think? She's pure and innocent. She's a baby practitioner of justice. I'd like to know for my reference how she would respond to his absolute malevolence. It's like being a fortune teller seeing the future of this promised land. Girls love those things, don't they? You have a great taste in things you like do, like to do, my lord. You are making an ageless elf bear the explanation for the entire city. True that. If you girls can give me an answer to that satisfies me, I'd give up using Leon as a toy. And your question is, what's justice? Pardon. You heard me. What's your definition of justice now? Explain. It's obvious. Justice is a weapon for one to fulfill the duty. It's a flag without a color that justifies the violence of speech and action. Also, it's an abrasion process that comes with one's strive for absolute righteousness. What? Why are you acting like you understand everything? Is that supposed to protect you from, from like, protect you from, like, armor? You are the most born of all. Your justice is all about regrets. It's an illusion that a child uh, that got badly betrayed by reality just can't forget. As for you, you are not even giving me an answer. You are just making our conversation last longer, hoping that I'd spill our secret at some point. Your justice is an intelligence masked with poison. All weak ones cling into, onto the slyness while hating the incompetence. Or should I say, it's a sense of inferior, inferiority. Wopped, uh, wrapped in an invisibility cloak. What's your justice? That's why I hate gods. They know everything about us. Don't get furious, girl. You have got what it takes to be the next green sage. But a critical hit is a critical hit. The world is imperfect as it should be. You're all lost, little lames. And yet you all fail to make me feel satisfied. Run along, go and tell Astria that you have been bullied by a hot guy. I'll allow you to run away this time. Call yourself a hot guy, you sh shitty guy, god. Not hot enough to tone you on, aren't I? Want to sleep together? I'd rather sleep with a womb than you. You really should watch your mouth, child of justice. Anyway, I'm getting bored. I should get going. The head of our enemy is staying right in front of us, no matter how bad it tastes. I will not miss a chance to gorge myself if, with a feast. Although it's forbidden for us to kill gods, catch, uh, we can capture you alive. I'll take you to Lady Asher to end this war once and for all. Wasting evil's mercy is also a form of justice, huh? All right, then, my children, take care of these until we safely... My safety is assured. Have a side, I wonder. It seems like the children are protecting the gods instead of the other way around. 
So it's been a while since we encountered on floor 18. I'm sure we can... We can friends... We can... What? Since we both know how it feels to be tortured by guards. Very funny. There will be no mercy this time. Why is the ever mostly? That's the thing. Is that it? There's one less of you girls, but I wasn't expecting things to be this different. Idiots. There was a combo preparation to teach you idiots a special lesson. Huh? The art of drawing flash. Indeed, it's a technique that I have unwillingly inherited from my fam family. I praise you for dodging the attack, but I'll finish you. I have promised to show the safety of my lord, so this is as far as I go. Bugging me, the noise keeps reverberating endlessly. Not Elfie. A finger, you stop my strike with your finger. Hey, I recognize you from here, familiar. Stop shouting into my ear, it's truly annoying. There you are, my ally. How was your little break? I got interrupted when you knew I was at the church area, and yet you brought a little panic, uh, picnic, panic? Uh, it was a coincidence, although I have to admit that I did bring a little panic on purpose. Now that you are awake, may I assign you to a job? I want these believers of justice to experience defeat. Worth wasting my time, or is it because your familiar is made of useless crap? I'm having an ear earache and it's horrifying that you're in front of me but i can hardly hear your breath or feel the flow of your magic your allies explains that what you are once sound and silence falls elfia of silence so i'd like to witness your power so you all you all really are a bunch of useless crap i guess i must use my power to burn silence you Let's get the hell out of here, Kaguya. We shouldn't be messing with these monsters. Don't even think about it. We'll die if we turn our backs on them. We'll die if we avoid our eyes off the, of them. That's what they are. Good thing someone knows the dual etiquette. It'd be a lie if I said I'm not disappointed, but not to a point where I have to lament over. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a skill for vacuum with me. All I can do is flesh grind and block boggy boogle. Don't, s but don't sit along with me.
Nothing is more annoying than the death cry of little girls. We are leaving you coming or not. Whether you are coming with me or not, I'm out of here, Kaguya. We will find a brief moment to join the battle, and that will be the only chance for us to escape. Help me out if you want to survive, Lyra. You little noises. Level 100? Oh, so you lose the battle no matter what, eh? Well, then hurry up and finish me off. You're supposed to be level 100. Come on, then. There you go. One hit was all it took. She's strong, no wonder Hera was afraid of her. You did say the dodge there wasn't a critical hit. That was an impact of light. Are you using sound as for your magic? Don't look in for Freya Family not tell you anything. My magic is about simply beating you up with souls of sound. I can't bone you into ashes or freeze you to death. My magic only turns you into a pathetic piece of dead flesh. She's experienced with close combat. Damn it, she's invincible. Fiosity or cruelty, don't waste a second thinking of how to describe me. This is not Tochu, it's instant death. If you want to see Tochu find someone tough with that, I can fail against and this isn't over yet. In fact, you are good at disguising yourself as a dead person, Palum. Is that a dirty trick you learned for surviving like a rat? From your skill, you are level 2. I did go easy on you, but I praise you for escaping instant death. You are a sneaky coward, unlike Bravo. Zod would enjoy playing with someone like you. On the other hand, I don't. Now it's time for you to go to sleep. You see, I'm a tiny and weak. It was my policy not to say no. I disguised myself as a dead person, and I'd make explosives. I, I have been... Trying hard to keep up with my allies. That's why even if it's against my will, I, I would do things like becoming a decoy too. Which means I'm not just good at disguising myself as a dead person. The art of drawing, spout. I thought I have drawn... Away your bones and blade, but I didn't realize you had another weapon dual Kadochi Kadochi Don't dodge it like it was nothing you monster But hey, you're bleeding level 7 You may have been just a scratch, but I did slash you with my blood Blade, I made you bleed. You're, you're strong. No human can possibly reach your level. You are matey, but you are not invincible. You got a bruise fighting a little girl like me. How shameful. Did the noise end? Well then, goodbye. I won't let you there. A magic item? No, that's an explosive. She must have made it herself. One became a decoy and one was buying time for a retreat. That was a great teamwork. They managed to escape. 
They are wounded. We'll be able to chase after them in no time, should I? We will let them go this time. Are you sure? What if she... The noise returns to know you again. I haven't seen my own blood in ages. It seems I've become arrogant like hair. And I didn't even realize it. What a fool I was with all that pride and all. I shall reward those girls for waking me up. What We are going to kill that woman. I don't think so. She's level 7. Don't make a tiny girl like me carry you on my just soldier. Sold, soldier. Uh, in fact, how do you think we are going to defeat her? Uh, we'll form a large team and be her. That's the evil's way of doing things. Do you really want to be like the ones you hate from your guts? Then you think you have a better plan. You're an expert at setting nasty traps on enemies, no? And we need that... Complete city elf. We need everyone to be on this together, including the captain of those uh, orders. No chance of winning, but we know that our enemies are looking for Leon. We've got to find at least another goals to inform them about it. Don't let justice make you do anything stupid. Was that an explosion? This is where the explosion must have happened. It seems there's no one around, but I can s could still smell it. Is she? Let's search around. From how things are around here, I can tell there had been battle. But what's that? And entire place is like a rune, but this building survives. That's Belle's first um, home with Hestia. I'm a god, but I'm still amazed with what fate is capable of doing. We have met in the place where your faith is all built upon. What are you doing here? I've been searching for you, Leon. I'm here for you, baby practitioner of justice. You are unbelievable. You tricked us, making us believe that you are no one called Ellen. Now, let's skip the part. It's already been discussed about with your friend, Human and Plume. You mean Kage and Leo? What did you do to them? I just poked them. That's all. I gave them mostly this time, and I hope you are not planning on doing anything stupid, or else you are going to suffer just like your friends did. Hey, we're familiar. I'm not here to fate, I just like having you as a listener as I talk about silly things. What do you want? I've come to hear your answer to a question I've at once asked you. I was shocked by dizziness, my heart was throbbing. For fuck's sakes. Don't give him the satisfaction of seeing your face, you dumbass. Then realized I was stepping backwards, trying to get as distant from this god as I could. Oh, I hate this. What's your definition of justice? Why are you asking me? Because I look up to you. Why is the evil asking a question regarding justice? Because I believe it's the righteous thing to do. It's a legitimate question. Also, I'd like to know about my fate in this world. Currently, a warrior is the, is the reduced image of the world. As Zeus and Hera got defeated by the Black Dragon, the world is a chaos. Desperation coming from su suffrage, violence for achieving pleasure, and plundering triggered by desire. I've seen them everywhere. Either the light shines or the darkness, darkness d dominates in this world. There are always two choices. 
That's for me, I choose to let darkness dominate, but then what concerns me is how justice would react to it. In this era of darkness, would justice have true answers to questions? Would it make people draw a sword of revenge? T revenge? T I need to find out. Is what I think, Leon. You are what establishes the existence of both justice and evil, but then what makes it look even colorful is when the two contradictions meet. And where are you getting at? It's the same logic as the great justice and great evilness. When justice and evil clash, it blows up and becomes massive. Eventually, there will be an outbreak of war between newborn ultimate justice and absolute benevolence. Whoever wins rules the world or ruins it. It's simple as every other story you can find in elven scriptures, no? Well, what is evil then? The, this evilness that thinks they are better than justice, what are they? It's something that pleases you. What? You see, it's easy to consume evil. You simply have to seek what pleases you. It's all about your benefits and not others. This could cause hatred and the worst co could happen by crossing the line. People call that evil. Let me re rephrase that. It's easy for people to call that sort of thing e as evil. And the worst kind of, e of evilness that one can't find a way to explain would be absolute benevolence, which is basically me. Tell me why. Why would you claim yourself as absolute malevolence? What do you expect to by destroying a warrior? I'm the origin of darkness, the god of the underworld. Destruction of a warrior and dragging the world into darkness means the same. That is everything to me. I'm meant to be the absolute malevolence to you all. It may look like chaos, but for me it's a paradise. Ordinary people wouldn't understand this is what we, the demon lords, are. There's no way anyone would understand. Being understood is another side of evil that exists. So I believe I have given you an adequate answer now. It's your turn. Justice is a good faith that is priceless. It's in one and only value the matters that never falters to slay the evil that and eliminate them that's what you once said i remember each and every word hey had your answer change of the time or not will you still be able to proudly give me the same answer has anyone thanked you so far have you received any credit for things you have done while the evil was dominating oh this is dumb this is all dumb Now, let me ask you this question again. What's your definition of justice? Fuck you. Ah, oh, so annoying. A uh, child of Ashley familiar at the same time. I'm quite amused if you're starting to doubt the existence of justice. Ah, uh, so stupid. Let me present you with a word. Multiple beings named as justice. 
the foolish, foolish beings named as justice. Say anything back. Of course, because you're dumb. Now knowing what the rightful decision is and the whereabouts of justice, you'll be crushed by the bad intentions of evil. Your heart that is so attached to the concept of justice is to be shattered into pieces. Holy shit, this is stupid. Which makes me want to question the other goal. Yes, I'm talking about you, Elise. Well, that was dumb. They sure are dragging this out. Let's take a break, Elise. Ganesha Familiar will take up from here. Is on her way as well. You should take a rest. West Force will take care of the handover jobs. You really should be in the bed right now. I appreciate that it's all head back home first. I really am a bit exhausted. Oh, perhaps I should say I'm quite exhausted, my heart says so from deep down. I'm fully exhausted and covered all over with wounds, my heart's. Heart and soul are screaming. How many times have I mentioned the word justice in front of everyone ever since Leon left me? I kept thinking about justice all along, but how many times have I abused the word as a tool to encourage myself? Reality holds contradiction is killing me. But I think the problem now is just that justice is not being visible right now. Even so, do I still deserve to gaze upon the stars to spot justice shining above? Why the fuck not? So is there anything I can do for you? You need to lend me your soldier. Soldier. Uh, of course, come here. Was I wrong? What about? But all sorts of things. I always pretend that I'm strong and smile in front of everyone, even if it makes me look like a fool. I just can't let anyone feel nervous. I'd say things out loud when I want to, and I'd take action when my instincts tell me to. But then uh, when I'm alone, part of me feel who is in the fool starts showing up. I look up to you no matter what, Elise. You're pure and full of energy, but at the same time, you take things seriously when there's trouble. You shine brighter than the star. You shine like a, the sun. Look at all those people around you smiling like blooming flowers. Who is in fool is lost. She's starting to question the existence of justice. Although she's your child at Lady Ashia, she's struggling to define justice. It's about Kaguya lending me my power. It's about Leo taking my hand and le leading me the way. It's about the fact that fate had brought me and Wu together. Keep on going, Elise. You believe in yourself, including all the rights and wrongs choices you have made. Even if the sky is shrouded with dark clouds, even if you can't spread your arms and reach the sky. Stars will always be watching you from above. I 
I can't be an answer to the question about justice. I'm nothing more than one of the million stars scattered across the sky. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't. You all shouldn't be afraid of venturing as you search for justice. What the fuck? I want to hear your definition definition of justice, God. I want to tell her the, the answer I have in my heart right now. You showed good luck, Elise. Lady Asha is weak. She's cruel. She'd keep you inside a drifting smoke without giving you an answer, which is which she she's deemed to have a god to have as a goddess of justice. She confuses you with all these beautiful words she has to say. Now you're lost. Are you sure about it? Uh, aren't you suffering right now because of that woman? Isn't she treating you all like a toy? Is justice about getting hurt? Is justice supposed to make you feel lost and be laughed at by evil? It's surely amusing to bully you. Oh, you so stupid, Leon. If I know what I'm supposed to do now, I must do it. There's a weekend play right in front of you. What are you waiting for? I'd finish them before we let the chains go away. Just wait and see your warrior to show your faith in the spirit. But I keep walking all day long, for God's sakes. I'm a god, I'm sleeping. I need a drink. I can probably get you the six uh, fortresses that you have been asking for. It's still a mess, but we can get people in there as plain. <coughs> what is it? Did something happen? Take a look at these reports I've received from the guild and Lord Homies. It's a list of deities that got sent up during the feud. Exactly, nine deities were gone that night. But according to these reports, there are six familiars that got defeated. Which, where are the three missing guards that were supposed to be, have been sent back up? What the heck's going on? Is there a mistake in the reports sent by the guild and that wimpy guy? Perhaps three of the gods they got sent up belong to the evilest group. Are you saying that they could have accidentally killed their own people? Or were they having a fallout? I don't know, but th this was all according to their plan. Perhaps the main goal wasn't about making the warrior lose faith in spirit. There's something more to this. It could be a distraction or even a concealment. Is it what I think it is? So in, instead of s the surface world, those bastards were actually after. Are uh, going wild at the northwest of the city. We shouldn't waste our time f waiting. Let, let this be a war to decide the true conqueror will unleash your mad madness. And there's so many of them. It, it must be all leave us. I told him not to, but he didn't listen to me. What's funny is that it's happening so close from here. But thanks to him, I got a great idea. Keep this area protected. Tell Zara to get here as well. And do not bring reinforcements to this battlefield. 
to help increase noise? Are you joking? I do not remember becoming your slave or even your child. Don't say that. We are only putting on this little show. I swear I won't do anything stupid once this is over. Now plan is carried out as you wish. But we will execute the activities we must be engaged in as the absolute malevolence. If anything happens, Vitutes will get here immediately. He's standing outside as a guard. All over the place, there's only so much a little elven girl can do on her own. This is a joke. It's a huge, huge waste of time. Without breaching the contract we have once agreed on, I'll do as you say. Order you to stay where you are. If you are to go against my divine order, I shall summon Elfia away away. Tell her to turn this place into a hell. And you'll be here watching it. So stupid. Holy shit. It's no time about thinking about that shit. Just go stop them. Uh, don't be get too thrilled. We are in a bad place now. There are only a few adventures here. They won't be able to handle all these enemies. You are trying to provoke us by attacking the innocent people. You are turning the innocents into a bait. Well, isn't that obvious by now? Holy. The enemy is pressing on us when all the reinforcements coming. This is your graveyard in case you haven't noticed. This is not where I give up. I'm, I'm afraid this is where you give up. Bitch, how is she this week? How, how the hell is she this week? What the fuck? I don't recall who being this week at all. You have been cut down, but may barely managed to survive. You are more stubborn than I thought. However, get out of the way. Well, this is dumbass. We, she, she isn't fading back. What the fuck? Yeah, no shit. You're civilians. You, you don't have power. You're supposed to run away immediately, you dumb fucks. The brave ones die fools. It's always been the way things are. Want to know why? Be because brave ones also take care of idiots. You vulnerable, unintelligent fools. You can't wield a sword, no one. Uh, fatals that get stabbed in their backs, protecting people like you. That's what true justice brings at the same time. It's where I feel pleasure at its peak. 
I'm loving that look on your face and the, the disaster. It's the circle of tragedy, a little blonde film, a pre 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 prelude to the destruction of all of you. I saw that everyone here and before wa waking, walking into the guild H T. I'm going to hand your corpse on the corpses. What? You'll be the symbol of all your downfall. She's not even fighting back. Like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, this is an issue with the trolley on the railway. Went to the control. To save them, the tone outs had to be adjusted to release the trolley to another track. But on that other track, let's say, there was a goal. A goal was working on that other track. Now, what would be the right thing to do? Adjust that tone or not? It's a psychological quiz. Funny how people in this world come up with all sorts of interesting things. It perfectly explains this, this situation. Should you not adjust the tone out and let five men die, or should you adjust it to kill the girl on the other track? Holy fuck! Evil was existing right in front of me. I was a bit, a bit able to see it nice and clear as I felt my trembling body embraced by ta terror. Terror. Now, you did nothing, you incompetent fuck. One to save that girl who's barely breathing, shall we? I shall kill the innocent people. It, uh, it would, I would stick to my words, I swear to the name I'd given a uh, massacre no matter what, with all the mother's intent. I'm not lying, I swear on my soul, I'll end the violence choice for, in exchange for the girl's life. With my divine powers, I shall order my man to retreat, no, no one will interfere. Uh, shut the fuck up. Either you can't choose or you're not going to choose. It's, if that's your answer, you're evil. If you choose to watch people die while you had the option to save a life, that would be an absolute evil. Yeah, you dumb shit. If you choose to not make a choice and not save anyone, you will be the worst slaughterer anyone can ever think of. Make up your mind. Can't you see that the girl is about to die, child of justice? Do you really want to become evil? Holy shit, so stupid. Well, peace.